so uh, veraison is the point at which uh, your grape starts to change color to whatever color uh, it is. So go, every grape starts out green, they start out as small berries and then they grow and fatten up and you bunch closure and then uh, you start walking through the vineyard and you know uh, walking with dye up at Temperance Hill. Um, we were up there taking some photos because all of our vineyard shots we've decided to uh, instead of vineyards we're gonna have the people that farm the vineyards because you see pictures of vineyards all the time but these people bust their ass so uh, Verizon is the point where the grape turns like if it's Pinot Noir it turns to red or purple color and uh, it's always a pretty exciting time because then you can start planning and counting out um, days until you would pick. Is there a moment in which that should happen? It should be happening pretty soon here. We're 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 pretty close. Um, you know, shortly after bunch closure, and I would say in the next seven to ten days, we'll start seeing it in various places. So, um, I was talking to uh, Dave Coelho from Coelho, and uh, he was saying that he thinks it should happen pretty quick. So. As that happens, are there any indicators as a winemaker that shows you something about the what's going on, the quality of the vintage, mm -hmm. or not really. Um, the, the one thing we're looking for is um, as far as thinning goes and, and planning for how much fruit you're going to drop because we have, it's a big crop this year. There's in many cases three clusters per shoe. The clusters are, are big um, and planning for thinning is going to be really challenging because uh, in some cases we've done a, a rough estimate and even at two clusters per shoe, which in Oregon, you know, depending on your spacing is gonna put you right around two and a half tons per acre, which in a, a warm vintage like this is, it's an earlier vintage, probably picking in the second, third week of September instead of in October, which is pretty traditional. Um, so at two clusters per shoot, you could be at the site we lease, we think it's like 3.1 tons per acre, which is definitely too much. So uh, because of the weight of the clusters, you may have to, instead of go two clusters per shoot, maybe one, two, one, two, um, but at Verizon, you're looking at about 75%. So you look at the canopy, you look at the fruit zone, see where the fruit is, is staged at and set at, and you kind of think, because it, the Verizon moves slowly, like one vine might have like none, and the vine right next to it will be like 80% through. You can't explain it. I mean, the, the two vines are side by side, but once you hit that kind of 75% mark, just as like looking at it, that's when you go through and, and really do your pass of, um, of dropping crop. Uh, a lot of folks have, have already started, like I said earlier, they've removed, in some cases there's three clusters per shoot, they've removed thirds, they've gone through and removed wings already. It might be a little, little early, but um, we're currently just, just waiting until we see Verizon and then we're gonna go through and and get after it and make sure that uh, you know you just give the vine the best possible chance to uh, to do its job and kind of guide it along its way.